no matter if you are a male or a female, all souls are female Ruach souls. Christians call the Ruach soul the Holy Spirit and the Holy Ghost, but the Hebrew name is Ruach, and it is female. If you awaken your soul using the 22 laws, you can win eternal life on Messiah King Yahusha's new earth. Knowledge, as you see here, is part of learning the truth. You must learn the truth about this demon earth and then learn the truth about who white Jesus is and who created Christianity and Islam and then learn about the 400 year slave prophecy and follow these laws that you see here. 22 eternal life laws. Law number one, goodness. Law number two, knowledge. Law number three, self-control. Law number four, patience. Law number five, godliness. Law number six, brotherly kindness. Law number seven, charity. Law number eight, eat clean meat. Law number nine, do not disrespect the Ruach. Law number 10, cleanse from darkness. Law number 11, only worship unbegotten heavenly father. Law number 12, don't use unbegotten heavenly father's name to do evil. Law number 13, respect your parents. Law number 14, celebrate the weekly Sabbath. Law number 15, do not murder. Law number 16, no unmarried sex. Law number 17, no stealing. Law number 18, don't be a liar or cheater. Law number 19, don't be jealous of what others have. Law number 20, put unbegotten heavenly father first. Law number 21, Forgive all, but do not hang with the ones you can't trust. Law number 22, be baptized in living water in unbegotten Father, Yahushua, and Ruach's name. Thank you very much, Brother Kelvin Stephan, for taking the time to read Messiah King Yahushua's 22 laws for us for the International Awakening. And as you heard there, Brother Kelvin, he said um, unbegotten heavenly father instead of perfect heavenly father of lights. And that is because Brother Kelvin um, humbly read the 22 laws for me um, about six months ago. But this is the newer version because I added the Bible verses and perfect heavenly father of lights to the 22 laws because that is what the Messiah called his perfect heavenly father at James 117 and Matthew 548. And that's who you should pray to, the perfect heavenly father of light.